Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 7.43 from study book. So the question is consider the circuit in figure 7.110 and then find IT for T is less than 0 and for T greater than 0. Okay, so we need to do the circuit in two cases which is when T is less than 0 and after it which is T greater than 0. Okay, so now maybe let's start from when t is less than 0. So we will have that 80 volt voltage source here. Okay, and then we will have that 40 ohm. And the capacitor is equal to open circuit, assuming that it has been closed for a long time. So all the charge has been discharged. And then we will have this dependent current source here, which is 0 0.55. Okay, and then lastly, we will have that 30 ohm resistor and then we will also have this 50 ohm resistor okay and we are asked about this i here okay i think we can do nodal analysis let's set this here as our ground and this one here as va Okay, let's assume the direction of the current. Let this goes here and I just follow this one and then I just follow that one. Okay, now we can do KCL at VA. So we'll have KCL at VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, there are two currents that goes in, which is this one. and this current is 80 and then minus VA divided by 40 ohm. Okay, and then plus I will have this one which is 0 0.55. So I'll have 0 0.5i and then that will equal to this one, the current that goes out which is exactly I. Okay, we can subtract minus 0.5i, so 1 minus 0.5 is just 0.5. Then on the left hand side, I still have that one. So 80 minus VA divided by 40. Okay, and let's see I here. I is equal to VA minus 0, which is VA divided by the resistance between them. 30 and 50, that will be 80, right? So let's substitute that. So we'll have 80 minus VA divided by 40, and that will equal to 0 0.5 VA divided by, what is this? 80, right? 30 plus 50, that will be 80. Okay. And what can we do from here uh, actually we can solve for pa right so what can we do is multiply both sides here let's multiply both sides by 140 160 yeah, 160 because this will cancel and also that will cancel into 1.5 here so on the right hand side I will have only VA and then on the left hand side I will have 320 and then minus 40A. So I will have 5VA is equal to 320. Therefore VA is equal to 320 divided by 5 which is 64. Okay, so I will have 64 there, but we are find, need to find I0, so IT uh, or 
I0 that will have I0 that will equal to VA divided by AD. So we will have VA is 64 and then divided by AD. And that will be, what is it? 64 divided by AD is 0.8. Yeah, 0 0.8 ampere. Okay, I think we need to save the value here. I0 is 0 0.8 ampere. Because this is will be important for the next calculation. Okay, we will have I0 here. Okay, now let's analyze the case 40 greater than 0. Okay, let's continue. Now, when when t is greater than 0. So, we will have this capacitor still intact now. So, I will have 3 farad. And then I will still have this voltage source, I mean current source. So I have 0.5i. Okay, and then I also have that, that resistance there. So we will have 30 ohm. And then 50 ohm. Okay, and then we will have this I here. Okay, now let's do KCL at VA here. So we'll have A here. Let's name this VA. So let's do the current that goes in, that goes in, and this is going out. So remember that I is equal to C dV dt, right, in a capacitor. However, because this is going from the ground to the up, I will have the negative sign here. So we'll have minus C like this. So I will have I is equal to minus C. TV, TV. Okay, so we can do KCL at VA. I mean KCL at VA, KCL at VA, and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. Now the current that goes in is only this one, so I will have minus three. D V A over D Oh, this also goes in, so I will have zero point five I, zero point five I, and then on the right hand side I will have I here, right? Because that is the only current that goes out, and so so I will have minus three D V A over D T. And that will equal to 0.5i. But the same with uh, previous, we will have the i is equal to Va divided by 80, right? Because of the Ohm's law. So I will have 0.5. And then this will be multiplied by Va divided by 80. Good. And so I will have dv over dt. Let isolate all the constant to the right hand side. So I will have minus one third. And I will rewrite 1.5 into one half. And then VA over 80. Okay. So that means that DVA over DT is equal to, I think that will be, Minus VA over 260. Eh, not 260. That will be 480. Yeah, 480. 
and I think this is the first order differential equation and we also have the initial condition here I0 is equal to 0 0.5 and I think we can solve it from here okay let's clean up the board and do some mathematics here okay now we have reduced the circuit into a differential equation here we have I0 is this one however from I0 we know that VA0 right because of the Ohm's law so we will have that will be 0 0.8 times 80 that will be 64 right so I will have 64 volt okay so this is the initial condition and let's solve this let's separate the variable so we will have dVA over VA and that on the right hand side I will have minus 1 over 480 dt okay let's integrate both sides and so we will have ln va is equal to minus t over 480 and then plus some constant here okay we can take the exponent of both sides so I will have va is equal to e to the minus t over 480 and then plus c1 e to the c1 is just a constant so i will have v a t here is equal to a e to the minus t over 480 okay now we can substitute the initial condition here so we will have v a 0 which is a multiplied by e to the minus 0 over 480 and that will equal to 64 but then this will cancel into 1 right because e to the 0 is 1 and so we will have a is equal to 64 therefore va vat is equal to 64 and then e to the minus t over 480 but then from here we can calculate IT using Ohm's law which just divide this by 80 Ohm. So we will have IT. IT is equal to 64 divided by 80 that will be 0 0.8 and then E to the minus T divided by 480. And the unit here will be ampere. And I think that's all for this problem. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.